The number one reason we're moving to Barcelona is, is growth. I mean, Cannes was a great venue for this event for many years, and I think Cannes is actually largely responsible for the success we've seen, you know, growing the event, you know, literally over 20 years. Um, it's, it's a great kind of region in France, but quite frankly, the event has outgrown it, whether it's in terms of visitors, the number of exhibitors, the, the amount of meeting room space and exhibit space required, the strains it's putting on transportation or accommodation or other forms of hospitality. Um, the success of the event just outgrew the, uh, outgrew the city. So, you know, we've uh, decided uh, more than a year ago now, because that's how long it takes to plan one of these events, to move it to Barcelona. And uh, I can tell you, as, as we sit here four weeks out, we're, we're very pleased with the decision. And indications are we're going to have the largest and most successful World Congress ever. Um, last year, you know, we talked a lot about kind of mobile entertainment, but it was in its early days. I think, we're, you know, with the, the growth of what we call the Mobile Entertainment Summit, we're going to see a, a really strong focus on mobile entertainment, whether it's music, games, cinematic, or broadcast entertainment. That's going to be reflected in the Congress program itself, where we have an entire st stream dedicated to mobile entertainment. I think that that's also going to be reflected in the four new mobile entertainment categories we've added to the awards, um, as well as some of the new exhibitors in that area. They're going to be there for the first time. So I think one of the focuses for the attendees is going to be mobile entertainment. I, I think another one is going to be the growth of what we call the, the innovation forum. This started a few years ago, or a couple of years ago, as the VC forum, where we gave really small companies the opportunity to do their, their elevator pitches in front of VCs or, or private equity firms. Well, now we've brought together the operator community and these VCs and private equity firms to do you know, uh, stronger pitches, where we're, I think we're taking you know, more than 100 companies, winning it down to 10 or 15, and uh, identifying the best new innovation amongst these small companies and giving a lot of prominence um, at the uh, award ceremony. So I think that'll be another highlight. Um, I think the third highlight is just going to be the growth in the event itself. You know, growth from probably 670 or 680 to probably 750 exhibitors, and a growth from, say, 34,000 attendees to almost 50,000. And, and I think that's, you know, it certainly exceeded my expectations, but it, I think it speaks volumes of the pent up demand we had and why we moved it from Cannes to Barcelona. We've seen not just a growth in the awards in terms of attendance, um, but just general interest in terms of the prominence these awards are having in the industry and the importance some of the companies you know, that apply for these awards have. So what we've done is we've taken a lot of the, the innovation or the, the technology-oriented awards and we've kind of dispersed them through the, the first couple days of the Congress. And so we're going to see these awards presented in front of substantial audiences in relevant sessions during the Congress by a number of companies. And so I think we're going to really broaden the awards um, event to not just an evening on Tuesday, but kind of two or three days you know, th throughout the Congress, which, which I think is going to be exciting. It's also allowed us to expand the number of awards without you know, making it a six-hour long award program, which no one's quite frankly interested in. So, It's three years now that we've had the Leadership Summit, and I think that it's increasingly become a part or an integral part of the, of the Congress because we're trying to use it to really set the stage for the rest of the week. You know, we're, we're going to have between 200 and 250 CEOs representing both the operator and the, and the, the vendor community. We're going to talk about the, the four or five issues that we think are really going to be important to the industry. And then we're going to go directly to our press conference and really, you know, talk to the community at large about what the operator and vendor community are going to work on together. And I think, so that's really important to the Congress because I think you're going to see uh, the content of the Congress and some of the side discussions really focus on that agenda. I think there's, there's kind of three ways we're going to measure this event. I think one is um, that the messages are the right one, that the important things get talked about, whether it's at the Leadership Summit that we just spoke of, um, at the Congress itself, through the various media channels, in the hallways. I think that's one thing that we're going to monitor very closely is are we talking about the right things of an industry? Because this is, from our perspective, the industry's most important message platform. I think the second way we'll measure it is if we can grow from 34,000 to 50,000, and still have the, the buyers and sellers come together and that feeling of intimacy and the feeling that the decision makers of this industry come you know, to do business, to network, you know, to catch up with each other, you know, and we provide it in a, in a high quality and safe environment, that's another way I think we're going to measure success. Um, I, I think the third way we're going to measure success is do we, do we keep this thing on the leading edge? Do the experiments we're, we're having with the innovation forum or the new awards categories or the identification of a mobile entertainment summit, you know, does this really capture where the industry is going and, and, and does this event continue to kind of lead 
um, in that area. And, and, if, and if we're able to do that, so you know, deliver on the promises of Barcelona in terms of all the things it had to require in order to grow this event, make sure it's the message platform of the industry, and, and still provide that buyers and sellers leading edge experience, then that's a successful event.